Hello to all my friendly, family and friends and welcome to Jim's 5am club. As you can see, I'm on a ferry here, heading away from Circular Quay. I've just been up at uh, Martin Place at the Cenotaph to celebrate Greek Independence Day with a memorial service for all of those who gave their lives. Um, our forefathers and everybody who's uh, helped contribute to the new Greek state, the modern Greece as we know it today. And I must admit, it was a moving, a moving service, an intimate service, with a number of dignitaries, uh, parliamentarians, um, a number of leaders from various brotherhoods and associations throughout Sydney a spattering of school children and uh, I must admit just a little bit disappointed at the number of people who turned out for this bicentenary memorial service. It was only two weeks ago when everybody was complaining and carrying on because the march had been cancelled. The traditional march from the Cenotaph to the Opera House where we have uh, dancing and speeches was cancelled due to a number of different reasons but many many people complained and carried on but uh, none of those people or very very few of those people were at the memorial service whereas the memorial service is the whole crux of the matter the reason why we have Independence Day, the reason why we have the march is because of the memorial service that is uh, conducted at, uh, at the Cenotaph in Martin Place. I think just people just don't get it. I think people are more interested in the marching and the, uh, the dancing and the spectacle without the spiritual uh, immersion and uh, the, the, give, the giving thanks to God and to uh, the nurturing of those people and those souls um, and to um, basically let them know that it wasn't a waste of time, it was worth their while, we respect it and we pray for the repose of their souls and, for, uh, and offer gratitude for the freedoms that we have gotten out of a, a sovereign so sovereign democratic Greece but uh, I sat and looked around and thought to myself at a very profound moment today and I said if you took away the people the dignitaries who were laying wreaths who were representing their organizations if you took away the politicians and the uh, other invited guests um, who'd be there Who'd be there a, 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 apart from the clergy? The clergy. It's a very sobering thought to uh, think that uh, we've been reduced to just marches and, and children carrying flags. And as I've th thought to myself over the years, you know, if it wasn't for the children marching, then you wouldn't have the adults, you wouldn't have the uh, um, other people joining in. Um, to uh, to admire the children, so it's it's more of an egotistical thing that it's become to uh, just tick the box and say to yourself that uh, yes, we've marched and we've done this and we've done that, and yet today we marked the bicentenary of Greek Independence Day. It was well publicised that there'd be a memorial service, and yet. It was a little bit embarrassing looking around and just seeing a scattering, a scattering of people. And I thought to myself, what do these politicians think? You know, they, they come to these events, they lay wreaths, um, they're here. But at the end of the day, when they look around and they just see the same old faces and don't see lots and lots of, uh, of uh, people, they must think that it's a waste of time. Even on the 25th of March, when the Opera House was lit up 
in the colours of the Greek flag. The number of people down here wasn't a true reflection of the many ambassadors that I thought we'd have here in Sydney. I really expected on uh, Thursday night to see thousands and thousands of people and for it to be wall to wall, Greek flags, people cheering, people grinning, people celebrating the moment. And it was only a few weeks or a few days earlier that there was a big kerfuffle where uh, the New South Wales government said that it wasn't going to project the colours of the flag on the uh, Opera House and people were up in arms. There were uh, petitions aplenty, people complaining, people carrying on and yet when the Opera House was lit from 8pm to 12 midnight there was hardly anyone there to celebrate that moment. And once again, I say to myself, if I was a politician and uh, looked around, I'd be scratching my, my head and saying, apart from the philosophical reason to support the Independence Day for the Greeks, you know, if the Greeks don't support it themselves, then why should it be important for everybody else to recognise and acknowledge? You know, just something to ponder, something to think about, something to consider. But it's something that troubles me, given that I'm a first generation Australian. I've got children, I've got grandchildren. And I just look into the future at a, a, a declining population. But not only is it a declining population in numbers, it's also a declining population in interest and support. Because when all the older people of these brotherhoods finish up, who else is going to pick up the, uh, the cross and carry it for us? With gusto, with dignity, with, uh, with purpose. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there. But they're just some of my thoughts. Not a positive sort of uh, post today, but hopefully it'll empower us to action and at least something to think about as a reflection on who we are and who we think we are. Because the image that we have of ourselves and the actions that we take are incongruent, to say the least. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on Gems 5am Club today. I'll finish up <coughs> the positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected. And I really mean this, stay connected. Stay connected to your Greek roots. Stay connected to your Greek societies. And be an active, an active member. Because divided, we will be conquered. We will be made insignificant. Stay connected, stay relevant, and stay reasonable. And to uh, <coughs> do whatever we have to do to uh, maintain that strong link in the chain. So the links that follow us will be as strong, if not stronger, than the links that preceded, preceded them. Take care. I'm just heading to uh, Darling Harbour now, where I'm going to Sam and Christine's 60th birthday celebration which is going to uh, be the culmination of four days of celebration Thursday at the Town Hall for the uh, Hymn of Liberty with George Ellis and choir and Symphony Orchestra Friday at Enmore Theatre for the Legends of the 20th Century um, Yesterday at George's for the dinner for the 25th of May 200th bicentennial anniversary of Greek independence and this morning I was at the Cenotaph in Martin Place for the memorial service and about to finish off with a night of socialising, of fun, celebrating Sam and Christine's 60th birthday. Take care everybody for this beautiful
beautiful day here in Sydney, this beautiful autumn day, which is the equal of a summer day. Yes, us, and bye for now.